Hello, this reading is going to be for Taurus. Taurus, the rest of March, going to do you and all 12 signs. Uh, so what I'm going to do is get me a card. So this is your um, advice or guidance. Trust in the divine timing of everything. Delays, obstacles, holdups, and detours might be happening for a reason. Trust where you're being led. And that's the picture that comes with it. Okay, Taurus. I need a card to represent Taurus. March. Rest of March, the Emperor. So, in control, in demand, in power. Let's see what the Emperor says here. Taurus for the rest of March. The Emperor. War, conquest, victory, strife, and ambition. Taurus for the rest of March. The stone wall. The stone wall. A stubborn person. So not budging, not moving. Um, an impossible obstacle. Stopping. Frustration of purpose. The stone wall. insurmountable obstacle so although you're in charge or although you're in your power there is something in the way uh, where do I want to go I'll go here Taurus for the rest of March expansion so you might be trying to expand a property a business a home a family a relationship And coming up against obstacles. Expansion is Sky God. Your life is changing as you move away from the old way of relating to others. New people are entering your life. Relationships may no longer work. You need to reach out to those who are in the same vibrational frequency. Excuse me. <clears throat> Of personal upliftment call upon higher companions to advise you at this time so you need to be around high vibrating people to manifest whatever it is you're trying to get around or buy or something to that effect and it could be in the way you communicate that makes all the difference Okay, think of your special person out of all the zodiac signs and get a message from them before I do the 12 signs. Taurus's person, what would Taurus's person say? What would Taurus's person say? Cranberries when you're gone. So you might be separated from someone, ended it with someone, not speaking with someone. What would this person say? Best self. I am working really hard to level up for you and meet you as your equal. So somebody wants to be the empress to your emperor or the emperor to your empress. Your mirror. I know we will always grow together, but I want you to be proud of who I am today. So if this person's taking a break, they're working on evolving and growing and bettering themselves. But if you took a break from this person, same thing. They're still working on growing, evolving, and bettering themselves. All right, Taurus and all the 12 signs. <coughs> Give me a card for Pisces. Aquarius, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Scorpio, now 
Where's my book? Hold on. Taurus. Libra. Virgo. Leo. Cancer. Gemini. Taurus. And Aries. Let's see what's going on with the 12 signs. So what is Aries bringing to Taurus? King of Swords. So the King of Swords in this book, I'm going to read from a certain book today. A man with dark brown hair, dark eyes. He is active, clever, subtle, fierce, delicate, courageous skillful but inclined to domineer also to overvalue small things and less well dignified so is this your competition your nemesis coming to a climax with an aries could be a um what am i thinking A battle of the wills. What's going on with Aries and Taurus? Accountability. So somebody's holding somebody accountable. Somebody's trying to remain strong. <clears throat> What's the lion? Control, courage, and strength. So somebody might be trying to control you by not talking to you. As far as an Aries, or vice versa, or they're trying to control themselves by not speaking with you. Aries and Taurus. Aries and Taurus. Yeah, they're trying to maintain self-control. Be patient. Hold back. And Princess of Feral Cats. Uh, rainbow. Love, hope, and fulfillment. So I've got little cats, big cats, and somebody trying to be strong and maintain control. That's Taurus and Aries. Taurus and Taurus. Now, this could be talking about you with yourself if you're not dealing with another Taurus. Um, so it could just be talking about you with yourself. You'll know. Taurus and Taurus, Nine of Cups, and the Emperor. So you might be getting a wish fulfilled if this is speaking of you with yourself and if it's you with somebody else no doubt spider webs so if there's another Taurus involved they might believe I want to go here okay if this is you you could be trapped in your head thinking about somebody that is your wish if this is another Taurus, they might be happy that you're trapped in your head thinking about them. Hawk in the sky. Hawk in the sky, number 20. Mortality, reassess, peril. Hawk in the sky, mortality. Hawk in the sky, a predator. Somebody might think they have you caught up, trapped, could be watching you, stalking you. You might be their wish. Walk in the sky, Taurus, with Taurus, or you are stalking somebody else. One more. Taurus with Taurus. All right, the lovers. You are enchanting. Um, the wizard. Not 
too happy of a wizard. Looks like he's trying to put a spell on somebody, control somebody, own somebody. I don't know, Taurus. Midnight, Midnight's mayhem with me. So Taurus with Taurus, somebody is trying to control, trap, mind control, mind fuck somebody. This could be you doing it to yourself, you doing it to somebody, or somebody thinking they're doing it to you. Taurus with Gemini. The... That's the Guardian. Um, I think that's the Queen. Let me check. Explore a child. Yeah, that's the Queen. Queen of Wands. So Gemini might stroke your fire feeling some sort of way about Gemini. They're confident, they're sexy, they caught your eye, they light your flame, they're hot. Taurus with Gemini. Tell me about this Gemini. Tell me about this Gemini. Taurus with Gemini. DMX, here comes the boom. <clears throat> so they know how to bring it, they know how to give it. Taurus with Gemini. In denial. Fanatic, symptoms, alcoholic, climate denier, self-deception. Play the victim, prestige, debt, domestic abuse, addictions, elephant in the room, foolish, terminal illness, naive and dumb. I don't know what this is about, but you might. Uh, Gemini and Taurus. Might be playing hard to get. Might be making someone go through hoops and hurdles. Taurus and Gemini. Wonder bride. Somebody might think somebody's too pure or holy. It's no wonder you're still hungry. No fuss, just crust. Whole wheat bread. Somebody might think somebody's easy or sexually promiscuous. And then a truck has been ran through. That's what I'm getting. Somebody might think they're all that and somebody else thinks they're used goods. Um, Rosé. Alright. Taurus and Cancer. What's Cancer bringing to Taurus? Ace of Pentacles, an offer, an opportunity. The Ace of Pentacles in this book. Material gain, labor, power, wealth. It represents materiality in all senses, good and evil, and is therefore, in a sense, illusory. So they might be bringing an offer, but it might be an illusion. Animals, Maroon 5, it might just be, all right, they might be bringing an offer, but they really want to bring intimacy to the relationship is what I'm getting. Taurus and Cancer. A disguised offer, the boar and the pumpkin, confidence. So you might be having sexy time with the cancer pretty soon because they're going to take the lead. Alright, you, you might be going somewhere. Um, darling, light of my life. Cutting something out, cutting somebody off. A trip car road trip and maybe go into like a government building. I think this is, I don't know what this is exactly. Okay, that's Taurus and Cancer, but they feel like uh, they want to have, bring you an offer that might be disguised. Taurus and Leo. The Sun. 
the Emperor and the Sun, the Flame. What does Leo? Hmm. Hurt by Johnny Cash. So Leo might have done something wrong and now they're trying to make up for it or get back in your good graces. What's going on with Leo? Cold brew in the flame. So they're hot and cold. Cold brew. Energetic, vigorous, and active. Hurt. They don't want to hurt you. They don't want you to hurt them. You don't want them to hurt you. Leo and Taurus. Somebody might be by or experimenting. Um, be the best fucking human you can be. So somebody's heart is pierced. I've got a biplane. Somebody might be visiting somebody, going to a concert possibly. All right, that is Taurus and Leo. Taurus and Virgo. What's Virgo bringing? Three of Cups. So a possibly invitation to go out, to meet up, to celebrate, to reunite. The waifs, maybe an invitation to visit London still. Wanting to hang out in somebody's house, kitchen. Three of Cups in this book. Leo is bringing, I'm not Leo, Virgo is bringing plenty, hospitality, eating, drinking, dancing, new clothes, and merriment. Abundance, plenty, success, pleasure, sensuality, passive success, good luck, and fortune. Love, gladness, kindness, and bounty. What is Leo? Virgo, sorry, why do I keep saying Leo? Virgo bringing to Taurus. Party, birthday, Friday night, beach, pool, sleepover. So some kind of celebration or party with Virgo. Tell me about Taurus and Virgo. You've got um, a stamp, so a message, an invitation, and this be our motto. Our motto, sorry. And God is our trust, credo. And you've got mythology. So there's something otherworldly about this connection. And one more. Maybe you both like scary movies. Chucky's girlfriend? Try not to take scary ones, sorry. Uh, maybe you share the same playlist. Somebody might send you a song that is a Virgo. But I see an invitation and partying with the Virgo. Taurus and Libra. The star. The emperor and the star. Taurus and Libra. You're their wish, they're your wish. The star. Hope, faith, unexpected help, sometimes also dreaminess. And a deceived hope. Hunter by Dido. So someone's waiting, hope, and wishing. Um, for what? It's a mystery. But what exactly do they want with Taurus? What exactly does Libra want with Taurus? Three of Cups. They want to be invited. Possibly whatever you're doing with Virgo. They want love. I think they're keeping it to themselves, though. 
trying to remain mysterious and unattainable. Taurus and Libra. Somebody's hair. Care Bear. Somebody wants to talk. Black and educated. Bay. Somebody might wear glasses, but they're here. Standing out to me. We had Chucky's wife and Frankenstein's wife. I don't know what's going on here, Doris. Alright. Taurus and Scorpio. What's going on? King of Swords. Again, the King of Swords. A man with dark brown hair and dark eyes. He is active, clear, subtle, fierce, delicate, courageous, skillful, but inclined to domineer. Also to overvalue small things and less well dignified. Memories back then. Hmm. Scorpio. Be careful that Scorpio doesn't just want to come in and get what they need and leave. What's going on with Taurus and Scorpio? Acceptance. Root chakra. Cherry pie. Acceptance. Innocence and inability and in inability to see one's gifts are indicated as well as the protection of spirit guides good luck and an increase in self-esteem and confidence um might want to not talk to this is this uh who am i at scorpio at this present moment because they are just looking for a good time Tell me about Scorpio and Taurus, unless that's what you're just looking for also. Scorpio and Taurus. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. They want to meet up for coffee, it looks like. Or they're going to act like they want to meet up for coffee. You need self-discipline and systems thinking to achieve your goals. If routine is becoming stifling, hold please. If routine is becoming stifling, do something different. You don't have to stick to the rules all the time. Be spontaneous. Yeah, but not in meeting with this person because I don't think they have good intentions. No. Why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free? All right, Taurus and Capricorn. No, Scorpio. Crap, Scorpios. Now that was Sagittarius. Okay, Eight of Cups. Scorpio. All right. Yes. Taurus and Scorpio. Sorry if I mix that up. It gets a little confusing sometimes. Cashing out, cash out, walking away, taking somebody's money, taking their ball home, no longer playing. Eight of Cups, Taurus and Sagittarius. Eight of Cups, success, abandon, decline of interest in anything temporary success but without further result things thrown aside as soon as gained not lasting even in the matter at hand indolence is success journeying from place to place misery and repining without cause seeking after riches instability according to dignity so Sagittarius is being a typical Sagittarius and bopping around uh, what's this about? So uneasiness, easy peasy, it was in reverse. Yeah, they're going too many places and doing too many things. What's the short version of this? 
as an element of protection that promises indignation, violence, group of people in motion, bountiful family, puppy loves, and joyful in the opposite sense. So whatever they're doing is unfair and let them have their way in their own life and stay out of this. Let them sow their sow their wild oats or something like that. Yeah, this is like hippie, peace, love, happiness. Four of Wands in reverse. Maybe broken up a home by going somewhere. And Cabaret Voltaire, the percussion force. Sun Cellar, maybe somebody likes classical music. Um, Four of Wands in reverse, what does that mean? Where's my book? Let's see if I have it here. Four of Wands in reverse insincere so not being truthful wanting to go out there and peace love and touch everybody I guess I don't know Taurus and Capricorn the two of Pentacles so Capricorn is bringing pleasant change visit to friends the harmony of change Alteration of gain and loss, weakness and strength, ever-varying occupation, wandering, discontented with any fixed condition of things, now elated, now melancholy, industrious yet unreliable, fortunate through prudence of management yet sometimes unaccountably foolish, alternatively talkative and suspicious. Um, so Taurus and Capricorn. Final round, Noella Chows. So something's ending here, somebody's fickle ways. Taurus and Capricorn. What's this Capricorn about? Badger? Badger, a bully, aggressive, a bully, passive aggressive person. Arrogant. It's telling you to try something new, limiting of options. And Badger Arrogant. So somebody's juggling, but they're not even stable to begin with. You're done with this. Two stickers. Two stickers for Taurus and Capricorn. So you got you. They're thinking of you. Power, Black Queen, protected by ancestors, and dumpster fire. This person is a dumpster fire. They belong in the trash. All right, let's see. Taurus and Aquarius. Wow, you've got lots of King of Swords here. A lot of people coming up against you mentally or communicatively intellectual mental clarity authority and logical so I don't know if there's three business partners you're dealing with so far got one more card to go but that was three kings of swords maybe not double tap pink this could be somebody telling the truth wanting to be committed Taurus and Aquarius Taurus and Aquarius coming up empty doesn't know what to say Taurus and Aquarius all eyes on me Tupac uh, double tap pink validate approve and confirm somebody wants to be all eyes on them uh, this is like opportunist vibes. What's this about? Somebody thinks you're so smart or so slick or so powerful or when they're actually insecure? No scary ones. 
So a sailboat. Yeah, somebody could be happy alone. You or them. Happier alone. Telephone. An old telephone. Could be older person. And something about a Pisces. A water sign could be in the way. All right. Taurus and Pisces. Three of Wands. So travel, movement, possibly a journey. Three of Wands. Pride and arrogance. Power sometimes. Established force and strength. Realization of hope. Completion of labor. Success of the struggle. Pride, nobility, wealth, power, and conceit. Taurus and Pisces. Wait a minute, is that two? I feel like I already got a climax with Usher. So maybe whatever the other sign was, Taurus and Taurus, was that you? I know that already came out. Uh, what's going on here? Let's get one of these. Taurus and Pisces, a climax. Something's being brought to a climax. You got the willow tree. I think that's harmony. Willow. Harmony. Show your respect for all forms of life because this will help you to build a deep and lasting relationship with everything around you. Spread harmony and understanding and treat others in the way that you would like them to treat you. Harmony. And three. Three is a harmonic number. So Pisces wants to be in harmony with you, is waiting for you with like reciprocal respect. Taurus and Pisces. No scary ones. Something about drinking here. Be careful drinking and driving. Be careful if you go on a date, Uber yourselves or something. Jackson, Tennessee Apple, 30th birthday. Lots of love, mom and dad. Might be going to a birthday party. Buckfast wine. I don't know what that is. And a car. So there could be movement, traveling, could be literal or metaphorically. Could just be emotions. Moving, harmonizing. Alright, give me a guidance for Taurus for the rest of the month. Guidance for Taurus for the rest of the month. Where is this book? Guidance for Taurus for the rest of the month. Yep. Okay, let's see. Guidance for Taurus for the rest of the month. Where are these? The Maiden, the Maiden, the key word is to create, the emblem is a distaff. Quote is, I am the beauty at the heart of everything created. Again, trust in divine timing of everything. And it says, tread intentionally toward your goal. The more you put into this, the nearer you will be to succeeding. Someone loves you and is striving to come closer. So show some encouragement. If there is disapproval of your actions, then keep faith secretly. All right. Good luck, Taurus. Somebody's trying to, again, work on their best self. But they
they do miss you or you do miss them. Thank you.